How's it going guys? It's Than from Advanced Reef. This video is all about the use of granular ferric oxide, a popular form of chemical filtration in the reef aquarium hobby today. Okay, so let's get started. Granular ferric oxide, or GFO for short, is a relatively new filtration media to help control phosphate. So one might ask, why would we want to control phosphate? Phosphate contributes to some nuisance algae growth in the aquarium that could lead to some problems down the road, as you might imagine. Everything on a reef is trying to compete for space and resources, and algae in many respects does a better job than our corals and other ornamental invertebrates. Managing phosphate levels helps the corals in their struggle with algae. Second, phosphate directly inhibits stony coral growth. If you have phosphate in high enough concentrations, it interferes with the coral's ability to build new skeleton, which is obviously something we want to avoid. GFO helps manage phosphate by binding it up chemically and thus effectively neutralizing it. Unlike other chemical filtration media, like activated carbon, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing when it comes to GFO. Ferric oxide is basically rust. It's not a super high-tech missile that only targets phosphate. It can and will lower trace elements that contribute to stable water chemistry. For this reason, we strongly recommend following the directions on how much to use for your tank's volume. If you happen to overdose GFO in your tank, your corals might look like they're a little burned out and start bleaching. If this happens, I would recommend removing the GFO and doing water changes until things improve. Advanced Reef Aquarium carries two varieties of GFO, a regular capacity and a high capacity. The high capacity lasts significantly longer than the regular capacity, so if your tank is experiencing long-term high phosphate, it may make sense in the long run to use the high capacity media. Once you've decided on the type of media to use, the best way to implement GFO is through a reactor, such as this one from Two Little Fishies. GFO works best when it's lightly tumbled. A reactor like this is a very simple device that sends water through the media by way of a diffuser plate at the bottom. The water flow through this diffuser plate helps keep the media in a light suspension and prevents clumping. A sponge at the top of the unit prevents this fine dust from re-entering your tank. Like I said, it's a pretty simple device and it does the job very well. In short, if you're struggling with nuisance algae in your reef aquarium, it may be a good time to grab a test kit and see if you have elevated phosphate levels. I'll give you a hint, the readings should be close to undetectable. If you do happen to have phosphate, regular water changes will help, but consider adding some GFO as well to speed the process along. Thanks for watching. You can find Advanced Reef's GFO by following the link here. Take care everyone.